Tontawi Ahmad and Liliana Natsir are highly revered in Indonesia. Their gold medals at the Rio 2016 Olympics completed an incredible resume that already boasts one world championship title, a hat-trick of all England crowns, and over a dozen Super Series triumphs. The Indonesian mixed doubles pair are role models for their younger compatriots aspiring to follow in their footsteps. Plotting their way to success are Indonesia Masters champions Ronald Alexander and Melati Deva Octavianti, and the duo couldn't have had better mentors than their national heroes. Everyone knows about their success, especially the recent victory at the Olympics. Anyone who follows badminton knows that the highest you can achieve is at the Olympics. Every player wants to reach that height. Their achievements are an inspiration for juniors like us. It gives us focus during training because when we train with them, we understand that this is the standard of a three-time All-England champion. They are truly our source of motivation. Ever since their claim to fame at the Grand Prix Gold event in Balikpapan last year, Ronald, 23, and Malati, who's a year younger, are the country's latest hopes in mixed doubles. Both players are products of Indonesia's high-profile badminton clubs. Ronald plies his trade at Jaya Raya, while Malati dons the colours of Jarum. It was while they were starring for their clubs on the local circuit that their talent and potential caught the attention of the national selectors. Ronald joined in 2012, while Malati entered the national setup a year later. It fills you with pride when you're in the national team. Every athlete aspires to be part of the national setup. It's here that you're given the best platform to compete in the best events on the world stage. So you have to come here first. Only when you are in the national team then do you get a shot of becoming a champion. There are so many examples like Tontowi and Liliana. It all starts here, so it's an honour to play for your country. Malati began life at the National Training Centre in some style, clinching the 2012 BWF World Junior Championships crown with Eddie Subaktia. Ronald, on the other hand, competed in men's doubles before national coaches decided in 2014 that a Ronald Malati partnership was the best way forward for the players entering into the senior squad. Initially, it was difficult. First was the communication between us, because as partners, we needed to understand each other well. And there was also the rotation on court that's so important in doubles. In the early days, it was tough trying to figure out the right movements. But now, it's easy as we've been playing together for some time. It has been said that attack is the best form of defence. So as a pair, we play an offensive game. But if that's not working out, we'll try other tactics. Naturally, we are an attacking pair. In their debut year, Ronald and Malati tasted success at the Indonesia International Challenge and followed up with a Grand Prix victory at the 2015 Chinese Taipei Masters. The run of title wins was a patient build-up to their latest triumph at the Indonesia Masters last year. Having worked their way to the last 16, the duo knew they needed to seize their moment. We were trailing 11-14 in the first game but we slowly worked our way up and eventually won. That was when I thought to myself that this could be our moment. In the semi-final, we were up against our teammates. We knew how they would approach the match since we trained together, but it was after the quarter-final match that I saw our chance. I agree, that was our opportunity. After that, we were very comfortable with our performances. We had to grab our chance in the semi-final against our teammates. We couldn't waste it. In the final, we didn't want to put pressure on ourselves. We just went all out. Thank God, we won. That win gave us a platform to target our next title. In our career, 
We've won an international challenge, a Grand Prix, and a Grand Prix goal. So for the next one, we're looking to win the next big one. That's the Super Series event. That is our next challenge. We've yet to win a Super Series title, so we'll both work towards it. The top of the podium finish catapulted the pair to a career high of 14th in the BWF World Rankings at the close of 2016. But with success comes rising expectations. A lacklustre start of the year has seen Ronald and Malati slip outside the top 20, and the worrying slide has led to some fans questioning their desire. While the pair understands that criticism is part and parcel of being a professional athlete, they hope fans can recognize that the recent below-par performances are not a result of a lack of dedication. All of us in the national team are having it easy. If only people can come over and see how hard we train every single day. At the end of each training session, we're all drenched with sweat right through. So when we lose, it's hard to take in why they're quick to criticize us when we've given our all. But we're not over-emotional about it as it gives us added motivation to get better. We want to achieve more and we're grateful that the fans want us to succeed as much as we do. It will take a lot more to derail the ambitions of the world number 28 duo as they direct their efforts towards the upcoming regional multi-sport event to be held in Malaysia. Looking ahead, the SEA Games will be our next focus. Our coaches already told us that they want us to win it, so it has become our personal target. But at the moment, we have four pairs looking to be selected to compete, but nothing has been decided by the coaches. But if we do get selected, the SEA Games goal will be our ambition. Ronald Alexander and Melati Deva Octavianti will only get stronger from their experiences. And that can only be a good thing for Indonesia badminton.